Charlemont High School Vice Principal Jennifer Giddon laid to rest. Her son gave up a big opportunity in the United States, returned to Jamaica and took care of her to the very end. Before we tell more about that, we encourage you to contact the Jamaica Beacon for special coverage of events such as funerals, weddings and birthday parties. Now the details. Humble, dignified and selfless. Those were among adjectives used to describe 62-year-old Jennifer Gidden, vice principal of Charlemont High School in Linstead, St. Catherine. She was a few months away from retirement when she died on May 18, 2022, ending a period of illness. Miss Gidden's only child, Javildon Beeson, was among hundreds of mourners who attended his mother's Thanksgiving service at Linstead New Testament Church of God on Saturday, June 25. She always did what was right and just and fair. Agreed, it may have come off as abrasive, sometimes, to some individuals who may have wanted to take things more easily. Fair. However, she always did it without love, and she always led by example. And because of this, she was very hard working about getting tasks done on time, on schedule, and going above and beyond the call of duty several times for individuals who may or may not have been up to snuff. My mother had a huge heart, and she was a huge believer in giving individuals a second chance. That is also why so many of the young men at school gravitated towards her, because when many thought that they were done, yeah, she would ensure that they not only got a second chance, but an actual chance to make something of themselves. When his mother fell ill late last year, Beeson had just relocated from Jamaica to capitalize on a grand opportunity in the United States. It was a no-brainer for him to give up that opportunity and return to Jamaica to ensure that his mother was spending her final days in dignity. In fact, Beeson was the one taking his mom to Linstead Public Hospital on the morning she drew her last breath. While it saddens me that she's gone, I can take some solace in knowing that I did everything in my power to take care of her in her last moments. Mommy, your baby boy loves you. I'll hold this blanket of love that you've given to me and one day we shall meet again. Beeson's love for his mother has not been lost on his maternal cousin, Wadwald Knight, who singled him out for commendation. I must pay a special tribute to Javier for one child. He was her daughter, he was her nurse, he was her helper, he was everything to her. According to Knight, the bereaved family is proud to have shared Miss Gidden with the world. We are all proud of her. And I am happy to hear that she carried that same grace, that same charm, that same personality throughout her life. You know, it is with this belief that I stand here this afternoon to give this tribute. And it is times like these we realize our own mortality. Similar sentiments were expressed by other bereaved relatives, including one of Miss Giddens' brothers, Ainsworth Gidden. Novlet Gidden Malcolm, vice principal at Dintil Technical High School, said her late sister, Miss Gidden, was resolute and caring. My sister gave sound advice. She was never satisfied with mediocrity and always was always seeking the high standards for herself and for others. After the death of our mother, Tilly was now regarded as the matriarch of the family. She was practical, level-headed, and strong both mentally and physically. To us, she was almost indestructible. Miss Gidden, a third-generation teacher, grew up at Cottonpiece District near the Windalco bauxite plant in Uyghur and St. Catherine. 
Her mother, Irona Knight Gidden, was a teacher, and so she ended up attending the schools where her mom worked, Mount Rossa Primary, Claremont Primary, and Rosemount Primary. Miss Gidden also enrolled at Mount Angus Primary School where her uncle, Owen Knight, was principal. Miss Gidden is also an alumna of Dintil Technical High School, Money College, Church Teachers College, and the University of the West Indies. She, over the years, bolstered her credentials to the point where she attained a master's degree in educational administration. Miss Gidden was also the holder of a bachelor's in management studies and a certificate from the National College for Educational Leadership. And now, the end is near, and so I take the final curtain. Miss Gidden entered the teaching profession in St. Mary at the then Port Maria Secondary School, which has been renamed Wycliffe Martin High. After spending two years at that institution, Miss Gidden returned to her native St. Catherine, where she landed a job at Charlemont High School in 1988. She also lectured part-time at Muni College. During her 34-year stint at Charlemont High, Miss Gidden served in various capacities, including teacher, vice-principal, and acting principal. In an interview with the Jamaica Beacon last year, she declared that her love for her students was what kept her going, despite even the battle she fought with breast cancer. Where would I be without my students? Even at the saddest point, all I can see is the students. Even when I wanted to leave Charlie Mott, I said, I can't leave the, I have this group of students that I'm not finished with yet. Or I have this student that I need to impact on. Or I have this student who is doing so well. Why would I want to leave this student? My students have been my beacon of happiness, even at the saddest points in my life. With cancer treatment, with everything, and it has never changed my resolve to be that advocate for both teachers and students to ensure that fairness seems to be done to everyone. So the other day I thought about it and I said, would I do it all over again? I probably would have done it all over again, but with a little difference here and there because I'm wiser. I am glad to see where Charlie Mount is at now. We have made our missteps and sometimes it's misunderstandings and all of that. But Charlie Mount is going to be a, is a force to reckon with right now. And it's going to be even stronger as the time goes on. Miss Gidden was not all about teaching. She also was a staunch advocate for infrastructural development at Charlemont High. She successfully lobbied for sponsorship, which resulted in the construction of a block of classrooms as well as a workshop at the educational institution. During the Thanksgiving service, one of Miss Gidden's past students, Horace Mills, called for the school to name in honor of the veteran educator one of the buildings that she toiled hard to make a reality. Principal at Charlemont High, Garth Gale, described Miss Gidden as a rock of Gibraltar. He further stated that she was a stable force working behind the scenes while he was away on duty as president of the Jamaica Athletics Administrative Association. Ms. Gidden was also lauded by Director of the Education Ministries Region 6, Sophia Forbes Hall. She described the late educator as a reliable and trustworthy gem in Region 6 and a hard worker who gave of her best to her students. There was also a glowing tribute from well-known actress Andrea Del Cito Wright, who became guidance counselor at Charlemont High School in 2019, while Miss Gidden was vice principal. Miss Gidden, at this time, I beg you, please, I beg you, 
Now correct me English. Because you're a stickler for proper, proper language. And you normally say, you can't make it pass, you can't make it mistake pass, you can't make it overlook a party, you can't overlook it. Miss Gidden didn't only make an indelible mark at school and at home. She also did it at church, the Linstead New Testament Church of God, where she worshipped for years. We remember her to be calm, wore a chance of smile, a no-nonsense person, humble, down to heart, realistic, and a good advisor. We remember her to be committed and supportive of our church. She was faithful in her giving and attending church. Her Christian life was characterized by being a devoted servant with a zeal for righteousness. The church never had to call her for being an unruly member or for bringing reproach to the church. In essence, the church was proud to have her as a member after the Thanksgiving service and the funeral party left the church, the weather changed from brilliant sunshine to intermittent rainfall. The downpour didn't prevent some mourners from traveling the few miles from the sanctuary to the remote burial site in Miss Giddens' native Cottonpiece district. <laughs> The journey was even more cumbersome for those who took the shortcut. The journey done, the rain ended, interment begun. Beautiful, beautiful river, gather with the saints of the river. In Linstead, this is the Jamaica Beacon. Before you go, please remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel right now.